In a previous video, I showed you how to focus using techniques that are entirely built into the camera. With this technique, and this is a much, much better technique, we're going to use Olympus Capture hooked up to the camera to basically focus on a star. Now, as soon as you plug your camera in via USB, this screen's going to pop up. Now, if you have an earlier version of the firmware, you may only see about three options here. But each edition of the firmware, they have added more options. And in this particular scenario, we want to set the camera to be controlled by the computer. First, we're going to open up Olympus Capture. This is the latest version, 2.1. I recommend you check to make sure you have the latest version and also check to make sure you have the latest firmware. We're going to click on the USB connection. That's the most reliable method. Now you have three different ways of storing your images. You can store them in the camera, in the camera and on the computer, and then on just the computer. I recommend both. Okay, and then in here we can actually choose where we're going to take these pictures and store them. So I'm going to actually make a new file here on the desktop. Uh, we're going to call this Orion 45 millimeter f1.2 at f1.8 because we're actually photographing tonight at f1.8. We're not shooting at f1.2. And then uh, this is going to be 120 second exposure. And I'm using ISO 800. So it's very important to write down as many things as you can. I'm also going to write down the temperature of the camera, which right now it's 48 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's going to create that new file. And then when we hit the settings button, it's actually going to make that go away. And it will be recording those pictures and sending them to that folder. Now, as you can see, Orion does not exactly frame very well. So I'm actually going to get up. And this is another nice thing about this software is that it's a nice big picture. I can see really well how I'm framing the image. You can see here, here's Orion. We're going to turn off the framing section. You can also, I'll give you a quick rundown of some of the interface here. So you can actually rotate the camera here. This will actually tell you what how the camera has rotated itself. Or you can go into the auto button here and you can actually select a rotation. So let's say if you want it to be upside down or 90 degrees, we can do that. As you can see, the picture is out of focus. Let's turn off those. And if you have an Olympus Pro lens where the focus ring slides forward and backwards to go into manual focus and autofocus, you actually want to have that focus ring slid all the way forward so that it's in autofocus mode. And then here in the software, we're going to select manual focus. And then I've got a, a neat little two tip here for you. So this is an essential thing. These four little bars down here, you need to click on these. This is the manual focus adjustment. Now by default, it's typically set here to a fairly coarse increment. You want that all the way to the left, to the finest possible increment. Uh, to focus on these stars here. So also, you can experiment with the different boost settings. I find that you know, boost two will just really brighten it up as much as possible. But I, I kind of think it's unnecessary, really. If we find a nice bright star, it's it's totally unnecessary. So let's uh, click on the coarse increments first. We're going to try and see if we can find relatively close focus. Select a part of the screen that we want to focus on. We select this little item right here, and then it gives us a box. And these are all the different choices you have. And you can actually fine tune these even further. So you don't want to be all the way in the corner, and you don't want to be dead in the middle. You want to be kind of halfway in between. And actually right there is a good spot. That's actually Orion's sword hilt right here. This is the Orion Nebula itself. And then down here, these are the magnification options that you have. We're going to go to the highest one. And what's so wonderful about this is because we're not touching the camera, we're not jittering the camera at all, we can completely focus super smooth like so. So a couple tips in this area. So these little arrows allow you to kind of click around and kind of fine tune the screen. It also kind of gives you an idea of what is noise and what's actually a star. So if you click and move 
Let's go back the other way. If you move the screen a little bit and you see those same three stars right there kind of move to that new position, then you know it's not noise. You don't want to be focusing on noise or a dead pixel. Make sure you check for dead pixels in your utilities. So then we're going to kind of focus out a little bit. And the objective here is to get those stars as small as possible. And also, we want to be able to see as many stars as possible. The more stars you see, the, uh, the more focused you are. Let's actually, I'm going to go to like a really bright star here for a second, even though this one's kind of in the middle. And I'll show you a couple other things you'll see. See these chromatic aberrations? The chromatic aberrations of the lens will, for the most part, go away once you're in, in, in a good point of focus. Let's zoom back out here. So let's move down over here so we're kind of halfway, eh, maybe down to here, about halfway across the, the frame. I'm not really seeing too many stars here, so let's go ahead and hit the... Uh, we need to come out of the magnify tool in order to change the boost setting. Let's try boost one. And there's a couple stars right there. So we can kind of click to the right. Just click right and left until you find the absolute best focus and you're ready to shoot.